mass dolphin stranding in Sea Isle City. We just learned the Marine Mammal Stranding Center has euthanized the six dolphins that initially survived coming ashore. They say that their conditions were rapidly deteriorating. Two other dolphins that ended up on the beach today had already died. Those dolphins could end up being examined at the New Jersey Animal Health Diagnostic Lab. South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner got an exclusive behind the scenes look at how scientists work to determine the cause of death for dolphins and other marine animals. This is ground zero where scientific procedures are used to figure out why so many dolphins are dying along the Jersey Shore. And we'll just bring them through the, our fridge right here. And uh, we'll put them right here on this big table. As he shows us around the New Jersey Animal Health Diagnostic Lab, necropsy manager Alexander Morales says it can be tough to see dead dolphins like these end up on this solid metal table. It's really sad, but again, you know, this happens every year. We get strandings every year. Though this year is different. In general, we have seen uptake in the dolphins and, and the marine mammals that are, that are submitted to our lab. Dr. Amar Patil is the director of the New Jersey Department of Agriculture's Division of Animal Health. He says at this table, workers like Morales perform an autopsy, which is called a necropsy for animals, cutting it open, performing a physical exam, and taking tissue samples to place under a microscope, all to figure out how it died. It's, it's really important that, that you know, we stay on, on top of you know, these, these mortalities in animals because it, it, it provides us cues about you know, any threats that are out there. Our tour happened to occur during a mass stranding of dolphins in Sea Isle City. Neither Dr. Patil nor anyone from the lab would speculate on why these dolphins ended up beached without proper testing. And even then, the lab's test results are confidential, only reported to whoever requests the lab's services. We're working to find out if the Marine Mammal Stranding Center plans to send any of these dolphins to the state lab. The center says it typically takes months before they receive final necropsy results. In a given year, the state lab tests 25,000 samples. That includes 500 necropsies. And it's not just marine mammals that they're testing. While Dr. Patel won't speculate on the cause of these dolphins washing ashore, he says their only goal is to follow the science. And, and we have really, you know, hardworking employees that contribute to, to our mission every day. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.